The iOS 26 beta cycle is coming to an end. It has been an amazing journey with a ton of new features and changes and of course the new liquid glass design of iOS 26 making this as also it has been reported by Apple the most popular beta of iOS ever. And of course you can see why that will happen. It is an amazing update. It has actually been performing really good. I have to say since beta 3 it actually been great on performance and even battery life is now catching up and it's a bit better so overall it is an amazing update now the latest beta is beta 7 so in today's video we're going to talk more about this beta we have some more features to talk about but also we have other things to talk about regarding the future releases when it comes to ios 26 now first off we're heading to the messages app and we now have a new section for messages called drafts now anytime you're typing a message and you don't actually send it you will be able to find them on the draft section so you can see right there we have filter by where you will have of course the ability to filter your messages based on the different sim numbers that you have on your iphone but now you will also have drafts here so if i select draft it will only show me the drafts that i have if i go here you can see i try to actually send a message i have written the message but didn't send it this way it will go to draft so if you just type something here and don't tap the send button then you will able to find all of those messages under the draft section so once you have a message that you haven't sent that's when you will see this pop up on the menu right here and you can go to your draft messages now apple has made some amazing adjustments to the animations on ios 26 the first one with the sixth beta and now they have even improved them with this beta beta 7 it's actually amazing especially the new like animation when you swipe up to actually close an app and you will notice that your icons will have actually a different animation based on where the icon is placed on the home screen of your device so you can see way less animation right there in the middle but if i go here to the dock it has more of an animation it's actually really really awesome and the animations are much more fluid and much faster with this update and what's new is also the icons bounce animation now it has more of a bounce animation with this beta so when even like opening app and going to the home screen or just swiping up from the lock screen and entering your home screen you will see that bounce animation that now is also more fluid but it also has a bouncier look and the text selection bubble is really amazing with this beta whenever you go ahead and try to select the text you will see that the bubble has actually been updated it's a bit bigger now but it also has this like really nice animation it's a bit hard to do it here from the camera but you will see there how it looks it actually is amazing and it looks really really good with the new liquid glass effect on previous betas we talked about a feature on ios 26 that allows you to quickly switch between your eSIMs when you travel somewhere and when you get home so it will basically if you have an eSIM that you use for travel it will switch it off once you're home and now you will have this new option when actually adding a sim to your device so it basically lets you select whether that is used for home or abroad so it knows better where you use that eSIM that way of course you can automatically switch it on or off based whether you're on home or you're somewhere out of your home if you're traveling it will switch to that eSIM based on what you have selected of course here from the setup screen of the eSIM now on iOS 26 beta 6, Apple introduced a new onboarding screen which lets you know about the new features of iOS 26 that actually showed up on iOS 26 beta 7 as well and it was a bit updated, it was a bit tweaked but now it also will show on more languages so you will have Chinese, Arabic, you will have French, Spanish, Portuguese and many other languages in which you can actually see the new onboarding screen and learn about the new features that are coming to your device with the new iOS 26. And not just features, iOS 26 has been amazing, especially in performance and especially with the last two betas. This is the Geekbench score right here for the last beta, 2,947 there in the single core score really amazing 
multi-core score is at 7589 this is on the iphone 15 pro max with geekbench 6. now of course the scores are amazing and they have been really really good in the last few betas way better than ios 18.5 or even 18.6 and overall you can notice it's the update is just great it is really smooth the animations are really fast and it works really good now one thing that i really like is that apple has managed to finally fix the heating problem on ios 26 devices if you have used ios 26 betas on your devices especially the first couple of betas the devices would get heat up a lot just like using them randomly or just like changing a wallpaper or something like that it would heat up a lot and now it has been fixed especially with the last two betas it seems that like that problem is like 95 percent gone and you can just use your device normally without it getting hot which is really amazing now one thing i'm really liking with this last beta is that it seems like the battery life is also getting a bit better so here we have the battery usage for the last few days and if we go to the battery usage right here you can see i have here 61 percent usage for today at almost five hours then yesterday 124 percent usage we have eight hours 20 minutes and this is the battery well, that is actually at the battery health of 89 percent you can see how many cycles that has gone through so it's quite an old battery but it's keeping up really really good and you can see here nine hours three minutes with 133 percent battery usage it's actually really really great so the first couple of days we installed this beta not that great then it has actually started to just improve a lot and it's actually really really good now we have some more time of course for this to be even better so hopefully it will get better with the next releases but what to expect next and what will be the next releases well in my opinion we will have only one beta left until the final release well we also will have the rc which is basically the final release but it's for devs not for the public so you can expect the next beta which will be beta 8 and in my opinion the last beta of this cycle this monday august 25th this is what apple has done through the years they will release the last beta you know that from beta 5 to until now we're on the weekly schedule but now they will release it on the 25th that will be beta 8 and then they won't release another beta but after a couple of weeks that will be september either either the 5th or the 9th of september they will release the rc version so it will be two weeks between the eighth beta and the rc version which will be the same day that the apple that apple will announce the new iphone so expect the rc to be released either on the 8th or the 9th and then the final release of ios 26 of course will be the 15th of september hopefully everything goes to plan and that's what should happen so that's basically it for this video guys ios 26 is turning out to be an amazing update and i can't wait for you everyone to actually get this update on their devices because once you use ios 26 for a couple of days on your device you won't actually be able to go back and use an ios 18 device it just looks so old so that is it thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one